Today we're going to talk about grain direction on our sheet metal flat patterns. So this is really a two-step process. The first part is that we have to tell the model what direction our grain direction is. The second step is conveying that info onto our drawings. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now if I take a look at my flat pattern, I'm going to have in this case here, my grain direction is going to run left to right on my screen. Okay, so I can do this with the flat pattern active, with it flattened or formed up, it doesn't matter. What I want to do is expand flat pattern, and in case I'm using a multi-body part, I want to pick the flat pattern that corresponds to my part. In this case, I have one body, so here we go. What I'm going to do is edit the feature, and you'll see a box here that says grain direction. So in my case, I'm going to pick this edge here, and I'm picking this edge in the same manner you would pick an edge for a linear pattern. So what direction do you want that pattern to follow? Same thing here. What direction do you want the grain to follow? We'll click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and form this up and then we'll start up a new drawing for this part. And then we're going to drag in our flat pattern. Like so. And we'll just escape out of that. We'll zoom in a little bit. And if we notice, all we have are our bend notes and bend lines here. We don't have, we don't see our grain direction here. What I have to do is insert a bend table for that. We'll place it right here. And then right up here, you can actually see grain direction now. We'll zoom in a little bit for that. There's our grain note. And what I'm going to do, I'll just rotate it a little bit. We can actually move this grain note around. And it's showing us grain direction is going left to right. Okay? So what happens if we want to change a grain direction? What happens to the note? Well, it's automatically going to rotate according to what the new grain direction is. So if we come back and change that, again, we're going to edit the flat pattern. I'm going to pick this vertical edge this time. Go back, take a look. There's our grain note right there on the left hand side of the model or on the drawing view. So all we have to do is rotate it if we want, move it around. It's also showing us our fixed face as well. So that's another benefit for us as well. So hope this clarifies it if you have any confusion before. Again, real simple process and Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.